Hi everyone, Freedy here here, and welcome to today's latest mix set build. Today, I'd like to show off my three anti behemoth sets that I thought may be useful in some way for players who may still be struggling with the new monster. Now, as a heads up, these are endgame sets, which means most of the gear and jewels used are gonna be found through grinding tier 2 and 3 monsters. But, if you'd like to see a lower rank one, then please leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll get straight to it. But, with that being said, let's take a look at the sets. So firstly, we have the Dual Bay Paralysis set, focuses on incorporating paralysis into the monster as quickly as possible, and allowing your team to focus on doing as much damage as possible, while monster is mobilised. You won't be getting much damage out of this unless you're hitting the main weak points, but given skills shown should allow you to pop the status effect as much as you can throughout the fight. I recommend you bring the Tepoyo Mantle and Rocksteady Mantle to help with negating damage from Behemoth, or bring the Apothecary Mantle to proc your status more often which can be useful than the Rocksteady Mantle, but I only noticed it's being useful around the 3rd to 4th area. Skills currently used are centered around focusing on improving its critical damage, paralysis buildup, and sharpness rotation, so you can stay in the white more often and make full use of your damage multiplier and paralysis buildup. Like I said before, damage will be low if you're not hitting the main weak points, but can do some substantial damage when it does. Alternatively, you can always switch out for the Barrel Switch Act for its much bigger paralysis buildup, as it can work well in your favor, as a set can be incorporated easily with a switch of the weapon. My weapon has also been augmented to have health and affinity to keep you flexible in terms of damage but at the same time survival, since you'll be most likely getting hit a lot, as you're going to be at the forefront and the fact that you'll be using your demon dance a lot basically puts you in a run more situation. Attack Og is also ideal since the weapon has low ward to begin with, but I highly recommend you go with this if your affinity is already high, so around 60 to 80 would be considerably enough for you to switch to having an attack Og instead of an affinity Og. Next we have the Water Bow set, affiliated with the monster's weakness to water. Great water set that mainly focuses on DPS. It's useful for focusing on a specific part of Behemoth to make the hunt easier in terms of breaking parts off him or increasing damage for everyone. The bow being used is the Colby variant of the standard Water Bow 3, and comes in with around 450 water to start, and maxes out at 510, which when combined with the Wrath 2 piece bonus increases your elemental damage even further than normal. Honestly, it does quite a lot of damage in a short time frame, and can help you draw aggro which sounds stupid at first since you're a bow and usually you will leave aggro to your blade masters. But, considering you're covering multiple aerials on Beho by keeping relevant distance, Behemoth shouldn't be able to hit you so much, which if you can also combine it with the Tepelvio Mantle, allows you to keep it in a certain position to where he can spam his Meteor or Wind Attacks, although this won't always be the case for you. So it's more or less ideal for you to be aware of where you're hitting him. I notice that if you hit him a lot in the face, he aggroes much more quicker. And if you're using a bow, that's quite easy to trigger. The jewels that are currently being used are sorts of increasing DPS rather than defensive skills as currently shown, but can be switched out to some defensive skills for switching out for a few water jewels for health boost instead, or focusing on increasing your defensive against his meteor attack, so fire resistance, or his lightning attack, so lightning resistance. But that's only if you're fine with sacrificing damage in the mean run. I don't know if this is something you want to be a bit more safe, if you're not so familiar or if you're getting used to using the bow, but if you feel like you want to be a bit more safer, then by all means sacrifice the water jewels you have, because you've already got enough. But if you feel like you're pretty good at dodging, and you can dodge Behemoth's attacks, then by all means leave it how it is, go with what I currently have. But do play around with it, because it's not always the case where you always be successful against him. But anyways, I have also recommend you augment your weapon for either attack or affinity, since health gives back a minuscule amount, while defense and extra slot are 50-50 depending on what extra add-on you decide to use. Lastly, we have the hunting horse set, focus around buff healing your teammates. Although the damage you get out of it won't be a lot to some, it's substantial at best with his built-in high poison at 540, increased to 660, and can work well with dwindling Behemoth's health down while your team does the rest. The horn involved is one I discovered is quite useful for playing the Earplugs Large Song, and health recovery small and large throughout the whole fight. With Earplugs Large now, your team will have free reign to carry on attacking Behemoth while he roars, while the health recovery small and large can be used in and out of danger to keep your team top with max health and can be played multiple times with no limitation involved. So, you can fight with pure aggression with this set with no issues involved for you or your teammates. 
For the skills, we're mainly focusing on increasing our base weapon's critical hits through increased affinity, recovery up for a large health back when attacking with health arg, and handicraft to retain a weapon's sharpness longer. Nothing more is needed as we have everything required to allow us to support and damage as a true hunting horn user. As the weapon is also a rarity 6, it's recommended you arg your weapon to have health and attack and affinity, since these are the best ones to run with with all blade master sets or ideally for ready 6 Blade Master weapons. And there you have it, a quick and relatively simple rundown of the 3 sets I use in the hunt to help with taking on Behemoth. They all focus on something that works well for the group action aspect of the game, and should help you in your hunt against him, but whether you're successful or not depends if your team can handle Behemoth as a whole. So like always, if you enjoy the content then do leave a like, a sub, and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload as I honestly would appreciate a lot if you do. But like always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.